looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today we got Saturday Legends as you guys do know, so simple format, same thing every week. We get two regular and two LTD Legends, pretty much same thing, same card, just one's powered up, one's pretty much not, one can be powered up. Honestly, the, the, the whole thing behind it's kind of weird, but um, we're used to it already. So make sure you are playing your Legends Zolos again, guys, because remember, today they would have just expired again. So make sure you guys are keeping up to date with that so you do get your free full Legend when the time does come. So make sure you guys go play that right now, if it's still available, or get a head start on this week and just play it now, get it over with so you don't have to wait till next Saturday. Or you don't have to do it last second next Saturday, I should be saying. But moving on from that, guys, let's go check these out. I assume the packs will be in store any second now. You know, those are always the first things out. But let's go check these sets so you guys can see today's new legends. Coming over to legends, we got, let's see, Steve Smith Sr. and Ricky Jackson, 92 overall. Now, of course, their LTD is going to be 93s, so those are going to be insane cards. Now, I don't know if you guys saw the stats, but Steve Smith Sr. and Ricky Jackson are probably the best two players at their position, or quite honestly, on their side of the ball. Steve Smith is looking like one of the best offensive players in general, and Ricky Jackson is looking like the best defensive player as well. So, going to be super interesting to go through these stats and kind of go over what I think of these guys, but guys, they're pretty insane. And honestly, let's see their sets real quick. So, the top piece is a 90. So, they get, they're getting up there, guys. Already 93s for Legends. I feel like that's, I, I, I can't remember, but I feel like that's pretty high for where we're at because Legends ended last year at 95, 96s. So, I think they're going to go higher overalls in Legends this year, which is nice because last year when they did Legends, Unless it was like a Dion or a Randy or one of those guys, you really didn't use many legends because a lot of them just weren't that great. Like, yes, 91 Dion's overpowered, but maybe 91 insert player here wasn't that great. So this year they're making it so the legends are the best cards like in the game just about or up there for the best cards in the game. So it's very competitive and that you feel like you need them every Saturday, which has made every Saturday a little bit more interesting. But it's better for that. Let's go check it out, guys. And for today's Poodle Squad shout out, if you guys do want a chance to be shouted out in general, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, uh, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, like the video. If you do all those things, you are going to be entered to be shouted out in the next video. Now, for today's video shout out, we got Edwin Romero. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much, guys. And if you guys want to pick up Steve Smith Sr. and Ricky Jackson, I highly recommend you do because they're going to be the best players. Uh, heading over to our reserve down below. They will be selling the legends on there directly as well as coins for them and training to power them up. So make sure you check it out. It's all discounted right now. And you just go poodle for an additional 15% off. But let's go check out their stats and everything else. And the packs are out. Uh, honestly, guys, I don't recommend opening a bundle at all. Not going to lie. Legend bundles have been nice to me. I had one weekend, that one weekend where I pulled like almost 2.5 million coins. That was crazy. I don't know that's going to happen again, though. But I, I really wouldn't test your luck. I'd stick to the coin route there. Let's go check these guys out in the auction block and see what they're going for now. Legends have been weird. They've been a little bit reduced value, which makes them much more affordable than usual, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. It's just kind of uh, surprising to see, for the most part, the route that like Legends have been taking on the uh, in the mud economy. Let's see if Hutchinson's super cheap. Wow, Brett Favre is super cheap. A lot of these cards are. Oh wow, Michael Vick is super cheap. The market has crashed real bad. Oh, some of it. Some of it has crashed real bad. I should be saying because not not everything, but that is that's that's pretty cheap for some of these players. Let's go to newest here real quick, and let's go uh, find out the new new legends that should be coming out of packs in a second. All right, guys, so Ricky Jackson's up for 300k is the first one. That is super, super cheap. I do not know why it's so cheap. Uh, that is not the LTD one. It might have been a snipe, honestly. It may have been a snipe, but it's not the LTD one. The LTD is Steve Smith. No way someone just bought that instantly, right? No, it's probably... I probably have to filter by a new... Oh, it's back to buy now. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, Steve Smith LTD real quick and show you guys the stats in this card. This card looks insane. 93 overall 91 speed 92 jumping 91 catching 92 catch and traffic 90 spec catch 91 short running 89 medium and 90 deep route running now in my opinion guys for this steve smith card to be the god you're going to want it to be you have to run play fake you have to go run play fake as your preferred team cam now why because play fake will get his medium route running off at least one and that will mean that he is a all world route runner he will have all thresholds on route running the spec catch threshold the catch and traffic threshold the catch threshold and then you have a 91 jumping 92 speed. He will quite literally be every wide receiver in this game put into one. He'll have the catching, the aggressive catching. He'll have the route running and the speed and the burners. He is 5'9". And then I'm pretty sure he's good with the ball in his hands as well. 92 carry is really good. 90 change of direction is amazing. 90 ball carry vision. 92 stiff arm. 90 juke move. Guys, this card is the best wide receiver in the game. Best wide receiver in the game. Yes, he's not the fastest. He's like one speed or two speed behind some other guys. But... 
He can stiff arm cornerbacks. And that, that stiff arm is good for cornerbacks because cornerbacks can't tackle too well. Like if he's one-on-one -on -one with Dion and Dion's trying to tackle him, you could maybe stiff arm him right to the ground. So this Steve Smith card is really, really good. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. Like they, they did good. They, they rated that Steve Smith where he should be rated, where he deserves to be rated. Now, the thing with Steve Smith, though, he's going to be super expensive. I don't know what he's going to come down to because, of course, it's Steve Smith. I mean, it's, it's going to be a big name on top of great stats. That's never, that's never a good combination for a good price. But you know he's going to be crazy expensive. I want to look through this one more time. 195 weight. What's his run block? NS61 run blocking is honestly not horrible for a receiver of his size. Break tackle, 89. This card's really, really good. Probably a great kick returner as well. I like the Steve Smith card. I think you guys need to buy him. I think he's a must cop. If you're playing competitively, you got to have Steve Smith on your team. So make sure to go ahead and go pick him up because, honestly, he's going to be game-changing. You, you line up him with, like, Tyreek Hill or Calico, you're going to have a route running, deep guy. You're going to have everything. And Steve Smith himself can do everything. It's not like you have to really get another guy with him. He can do everything himself. Now, base Steve Smith is up for 750 Of course, those are going to come down in price a lot, so I really wouldn't recommend buying shit. Ricky Jackson, though, guys, he's going to be insane. 87 speed, 90 excel, 86 strength. 91 tackle, 90 play rack, 91 block shed, 92 power move, and 88 finesse move. Guys, he's a better version of Lawrence Taylor. I do want to compare him for you guys here real quick. Let me go back. Click on him. I want to compare him for you guys. Uh, I know you can't compare it to Lawrence Taylor on this screen, but I was kind of hoping it would show up somewhere down here. But, of course, it won't. Now, the thing with this, though, is that Lawrence Taylor, the big difference between the two, if you guys are wondering, is going to be the block shed. So, Pass rushing wise, Ricky Jackson's slightly better, but again, they're both threshold, so it's kind of similar. Speed and excel, speed and um, athleticism is very similar. Pass rushing is very similar. The big difference is going to be that the well, the block shed, because Lawrence Taylor is not a threshold block shed guy, so he's not going to be an elite run stuffer. Like Lawrence Taylor is that guy that you can run stretch to his side, he can run pitches to his side, he'll get blocked up, but then when you pass to it, you pass or you move to his side, he's going to sack you. But the thing is, if you run the ball a lot, you don't notice him as one. Now Ricky Jackson is going to be both if you run to his side he's going to shut you down if you pass this he's gonna be that guy you just want to avoid you want to just avoid his side of the field when you're when you're moving the ball that way now the only good thing though is that they are different positions so you can play both of them you could play lawrence taylor at right him at left put them both on the edge and brush both of them which is honestly great because ricky jackson is the one of the best defensive cards in the game like i said may even be the best defensive card in the game i'm, I'm a big fan of the cards they dropped this week probably honestly might even be better than that vic and dion drop this is a great great drop of cards i think it's super solid I don't think they could have done much better of a job of two great cards. Like they're good names. They're not. They're not banger. You know, it's not Moss and Dion, but they're good names and they match them with good stats. I I, I appreciate that. And let's see if there's any like low key stats you ever want to see. Impact blocking 89. Um, nothing really else. 92 hit power. That's insane too. So if there's like a stretch or something and he comes loose, he's going. He could easily lay the boom and force a fumble in the backfield. Super easy. If only. I mean, fumbling's hard this Madden, but if you can, if you can force it, if you can hit him, you can probably force it with him. If anyone. And that's about it. There's no more low-key stats for them that you really want to focus on. But, guys, these are two insane cards. I think you need both. Honestly, I think both are pickups. And they will get upgrades at the year. Probably more of, like, probably an Ultimate Legend card. But, again, these cards are super, super good. Let's see. Uh, 619. I think they're probably... Steve Smith's probably going to end up, like, in the 200K range. Uh, the regular. And so is Ricky Jackson. Their LTs are probably, like, four to 700, depending on how, how high the demand is for the rest of the day. But, yeah, definitely both. Both are cops. Definitely want to go ahead and pick them up. Who would I want more if I had to rank them? If I had to rank them, I probably want Ricky Jackson more. And that's simply because there's many Greer wide receivers right now. Meanwhile, there's only one Lawrence Taylor, but you now have a second one and you could play both of them. You know what I mean? I think I think you definitely want to be taking advantage of Ricky Jackson. I think Steve Smith is phenomenal. He could do everything. He's an all-world, very well-rounded, do do it all receiver. But Ricky Jackson is going to be Lawrence Taylor S. And I think you gotta try him out. I think you gotta give Ricky Jackson a shot in the squad and give him give him some run, give him some burn because he's going to destroy people. He's gonna destroy the offensive line. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy again. Shout out to Romero for today's Poodle Squad shout out. If you guys do want a chance to be shouted out, turn that noti bell, like the video, and comment down below Poodle Squad once you do all the things you're entered to be shouted out. And of course, guys, if you need coins, head over to my reserve down below. You guys need these legends, go pick them up. Make sure to use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Let me know on Twitter that you um, picked up some coins. I'll help you out with the whole process. If you guys are ever confused, a bunch of people always do that. Help them out over there. It's a bit easier. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll probably do one more video today as well. Make sure to check that out. I'm out. Peace.